Hey guys. Hello. Uh, so normally I'm the one uh, pressing the start record button today. Uh, not, but not, not, not this time. Uh, I think we're like 15 minutes into the recording or something like that. I don't know. We're 15 minutes into this recording session. I, 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 for, yeah, for your sake, we'll just say we just started. Yeah, I'd say we're a humble tin. Uh, no. What you missed out on, on, on the title screen, it shows a, there was a previous game file here that lasted three seconds long, and then someone, probably me, just turned it off, so I, you, you, who's to say what happened in those three minutes? Yeah. Or three seconds, excuse me. I, yeah, I'll, I'll come down here, we'll get the full, mm, like, Yeah, the video starts experience. here. Why well, should, wait, did this guy tell me I shouldn't continue? Or did I just, I think I just misread him, actually. Yeah. But, you know, I got a. I went to Denny's last night. Nice. Yeah. How how was Denny's? Did you go with anyone? Yeah, I went with uh, Jaden Ross, Gwe, and we a lot of good convo. It was, it was like we went at like two a.m. to like four a.m. It's good good conversation. Just talked. Uh, There's one thing we talked about that really really stuck with me in like a a weird way, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think everyone kind of like relates to to this idea of uh. Those you ever have like those friends you've had for like a super long time you still love them because you had those good memories together, but the friendships are, uh, I'm gonna call them like remember when friends. Ah, uh, like where like everything you guys kind of talk about is hey remember when we did this hey remember when this happened hey remember when Brian did that like yeah, and it is it, it's like part of life I get that but I don't know it just feels so sad to me that like you you can have so many of those and you kind of wonder of like you know the best days of your life are the days you don't even know are happening oh yeah yeah and you're like you don't know it's so hard to recognize that the best day of your life could be happening right now you know yeah, like, until you start looking back being able to recognize that you're in the good old days while you're still in them yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. no like I, I like I, that's definitely like a thing I like there's the Tyler, the creator song, uh, November. Yeah. Uh, it's literally just about that. But. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I definitely have memories with people. And it's like, you have those friendships where, like, dynamics change. Like, you just change as people. And then, like, you kind of want to relive those friendships. You want to get back into them. But, like, things, you know, you just can't. No, yeah, no. I mean, like, whenever I go back home, like... I'll like hit up my high school best friends that like yeah, so. like my, my friend Tim, I fucking love him to death. He's like my like a brother to me, but like Shout out Tim. Yeah, shout out to Tim, but like he has a kid now. He has two kids now actually. Yeah, like, that's in a different, yeah, different he, form yeah, of life. He, he's married. He's not like the same like dumb asshole that I used to like go like pull pranks with. Now he's like you know, has responsibilities and shit. And I'm happy for him and proud of him and yeah, all yeah, that stuff. Course. But like damn dude, like I can't hit him up at three AM and go to like be like, yo, Waffle House yeah it's it's also weird because you have those people who you whenever you catch up it's like oh what do you do for a job now oh you work you do carpeting that's crazy yeah and then you kind of catch up on your job and relationship status and then that's kind of it i feel like for most of the people i catch up with yeah because it's like dude what you know i i'd look at numbers and make silly youtube videos and play video games and like i don't know like who the fuck do i talk to about that when i go home <laughs> you know no i get that entirely and it's also weird because uh i went to a friend's my best friend in high school's wedding uh i was one of the, one of the groomsmen in it and um i i flew in and everyone was like i didn't complain about it the day of because you know that's not my day to complain right yeah yeah, the, yeah. The, the, you're, you're at the wedding like you're, you're you're there for a reason yeah i know i bit my tongue but uh i want that to be out there because i was a good friend i did not make the day about me but um i knew a lot of the oh i knew all the other groomsmen right because they were all like people i knew in high school and stuff like that you know they stuck around they lived they still live in oklahoma i went to la blah 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 and um, I don't know. It was just weird because uh, I wasn't much less close to them, so I didn't know all of them nearly as well. And you just have all these people who like are remember winning you, but they also don't really. It's weird because these people I spent so much time with in high school are now like a little parasocial. Oh yeah, me. that's like where it's like they're caught up on what I'm doing, 
because they, they can just follow Alpha Rat on any platform or yeah. just fucking Google it. And it's weird when I don't have like that info on them. And, you know, it's just like uh, you being a content creator slash they're like, oh, famous or they make jokes or something like that. You know? Yeah, oh, my like, God. Yeah. Yeah. You like, know what I mean? Where no, it's just like I, 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 yeah, I get that entirely. Like the whole like. I'm a niche like internet celebrity like type thing. Yeah, yeah. But like they they make a much bigger deal about it than you want to be. Yeah, you, so you, you like you, you want to go hang out to like the boys, especially when you're going back home, right? Like, I want to go home and pretend I have this whole life. <laughs> yeah, like, cause I, I like I, I think the the way I look at it too is like. Nobody wants to go hang out with their friends and talk about work. Yeah, like, even if my work sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I, I get that entirely. Like, fuck, fuck, no. But, but no, like that—that's essentially it, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> I see. Uh, okay, I didn't fall off any spot at that time. Um, but yeah, it—it's one of those things where like. You want to be able to like have just like a, just a regular fun conversation with them. Yeah, I, I think one thing that's even weirder too is like whenever you meet up with those friend groups, mm -hmm. and you're like you and like two of them like remember one with each other, but the other ones are still like very active friends. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like you're kind of like that's kind of how you, I you're kind of left out. That's kind of how I like started to lose my friend group. I feel like. Uh, from high school because like in college everyone was in school doing the same class the same schedule same availability same spring break stuff like that and I was grinding out YouTube and I would uh, catch up with people every now and then you know because like I felt like people were making plans without me and it felt really bad but you know I've grown up I can tell back then it wasn't that they were intentionally making plans without me it's just that they were making plans with each other you know yeah like, they had such more similar lives so they would run into each other more and say let's hang out this friday yeah you like know? like whether it be that they work with each other or like just same friend groups still like yeah i i think it was hard for me to swallow because i felt like all my friends were hanging out without me but they were still inviting me to like big things uh like birthday parties and stuff like that, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, And then it would just be like, they're like, oh, we have a group chat. I'm like, what the fuck? Why am I not in the group chat, you know? Oh. Or, or like, stuff like that. But I just realized I was living a fucking different life, you know? Yeah. I was I was the guy who was remember winning with them or something like that, you know what I mean? No, I, I get you. I, I feel you entirely. Like, yeah. Like, I, I thought I was the victim of that story, but it was, you know, there really wasn't one, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's just life. Yeah, it's just life. Fuck. That was a hard pill to swallow, though. But yeah. See, like, I don't know. Every time I go home, like, I try to like, like, you know, get get, get the gang together. Like me and my uh, friends, we used to like, like after college, me and my like high school friend group, we like kind of recognized we wouldn't see each other as much. Yeah. And we would like, we would try to like act like that's not gonna happen, though, right? Yeah, you're, like, like you 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 wanted to like, no, I I try to be very like like. Understanding that it was just going to be yeah, like happening and like understanding yeah. of it, but like I know it, it does hurt whenever like people just start like they. It's not that they move on from you; it's just like they grow up. Yeah, they, know, like like their life grows in different ways, and it's not anything you did. It's independent of you. It's like you're a variable in the past, and like sometimes people can come back into your life, but it's so just not common, you know? Yeah, it's weird. But, like, it does make, like, the times where, like, whenever I do get to see Tim, like, for example, like, mm -hmm. even though it always is only, like, once a year, like, at least for, like, me and him, like, it's, like, even though if we haven't talked to each other in, like, two years, three years, like, the first time we talk, it's, like, we've been talking the entire time. Yeah, you know, I like, get that. Like, th I, those ones are nice to be able to have. Oh, like, shit. when I catch up with, like, my friends Luke, and, uh, Luke or Matt I or love something. love Luke. Yeah, it's, like, it's so great to see him, but it's, like... I I don't even know if I know them like in current day because I feel like when we talk we revert back to who we were you know oh yeah yeah no I get that yeah where it's like you code switch to like yeah like bits that like shows that you haven't watched in years yeah bits that I haven't said to anyone except my friends from high school yeah no like like uh there's so many of my friends that like if I talk to them again like I haven't like my high school friends like. I'll talk about the office with them, even though like I haven't watched in like <laughs> yeah. fucking forever now. But like, 
Like, I don't know, it's... It, it, it's, it's sad, but it's just... Damn. It's like... Oh my god. Oh my god. But, you know, it's, it's just life. Yeah, no, it, it's just life. And I, I think it's so easy to be, like, an emotional person and just assume people are do things intentionally without you, right? Yeah, no, that... And I'm just saying that, putting emphasis on it, because I feel like someone watching this right now probably needed to hear that, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that people don't hate you. It's just like, oh, they're just hanging out with other people. Yeah, and, and if you feel like your friends are making plans without you, it's probably just they're in similar circles that are forcing them to make certain, like plans. I don't know. Yeah, it's like... You can always like look at yourself too and be like, okay, like have like have I, I invited out to them. Yeah, have yeah. I like yeah? It's like the relationships are a two way street. Like it takes both sides for it to like as a relationship to survive, but it only takes one person for it to like you know like to be cut off. Yeah, it's like, so easy to feel like uh, they haven't invited me to anything when it's like, oh, when did you invite them to something, you know, or something like that. Yeah, or just ask to get lunch, right? Because that's kind of how friendships start in the first place. Just something, a non committal activity like that. Mm, lunch is good. Yeah, lunch is good. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I definitely, like, a lot of, my, like, college friendships, like, whenever I, like, because high school, I was able to, like, force myself into friendships because I was in band. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, you're out on the field every morning with people for four years. You have to become friends with somebody. Yeah. College, not really like that. But, like, my first friend group I found was, like, people that, like, we just consistently went to Denny's together, like, I hop or a uh, Waffle House, like stuff like that. I want to like, nice. No, man. Yeah, it's just so interesting how the times change. I've just been thinking about it. It's just like, you know, back in high school or not high school, like in college, you know, when I first moved out to my first apartment, you know, I lived with a guy who I don't talk to anymore. My best friend was a girl who I don't talk to anymore. I was dating a girl I don't talk to anymore, you know? Mm, yeah. You know, and it's like, um, you know, not really like bad stories. Like nothing really went wrong in either, any of those. Um, kind of. Just screw apart. Yeah, which the best to all of them. A little less to that ex, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, I respect that and I feel that. Uh, my ex, I don't, I, yeah. I, I don't really wish. Yeah, that was my ex from early, early college. That was pre alpha red. Yeah, I don't know, like, I definitely feel that, because, like, as most people know, I, I think it's pretty clear at this point, but, like, I haven't talked about it a whole lot. I used to be extremely religious. Yeah. Um, like, and 99% of my friend group was religious as well. Yeah, so that's another uh, weird thing. To yeah, so, like, to. well, for, it's more of, like, now, like, uh, my Instagram feed is, like, just those friends. I don't know why I keep trying to make that jump. Um, It's, like, them doing, like, their religion thing, mm -hmm. and I'm, like, like, I'm, like, glad that they're still doing well, but I'm, like, yeah, like, you know, like we've grown apart like I can't really like restore these friendships to, like any real degree you know yeah. uh, one crazy thing uh, uh, this is this is uh, maybe someone wants to hear this you know this is my moment of uh, uh, you know uh, so my the high school girlfriend I had who we broke up uh, like first semester of college um, and in January of 2014 that's when I made alpha Red. like that's when I made the channel and I was working on it with a uh, good friend, Major. Shout out to Major. Shout out to Major. And my girlfriend at the time, I kind of like hid it from her because I thought it was like nerdy and embarrassing, right? Oh, yeah. So then I eventually told her and um, she she laughed and she was like, oh, she's like, oh, no, it's cute. It's just a, it's it's a fun little phase. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Didn't mean to be hurtful, but it was. Yeah. And uh, doesn't it feel good now? <laughs> Yeah, now that's not. <laughs> yeah, so much more than a phase. So, if you, anyone want, has those passions, you feel like someone's gonna make fun of you for. They might. <laughs> yeah, you're like you'll 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 get made fun of for fucking anything though. Yeah, I make fun of soccer players and football players. What, what do they like, say? The best revenge is a happy life. Yeah. Or I don't know. That's a good revenge. That's at the very least a good revenge. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I like that phrase that. though, because I, I don't think I'm a super spiteful person. Like, I think I'm petty, but in like the the funny way. I don't think I'm actually like, you know, vindictive or uh, actually petty. You know, I'm petty for the camera, but as as a person, um, I don't really think I am. And I I really just like uh, I don't think I'm like spiteful. I think uh, things happen and uh, I move on and we grow. And I I think that's what. 
I really do live my life on like the the best revenge is a happy life. If people wrong you, I always want to take like the high road, right? Like I don't want to, I don't want to make their lives worse. You know? Yeah, no, that's fair. Because uh, I think some people try to do that. I just don't understand what you get out of it, right? Because you just, I don't really have an example here. <laughs> it's just like a, a general thing of like if someone wronged you, why? I don't know. Like, I, I just think, like, karma catches up to people. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I think they know it's like, if somebody doesn't believe in karma, then they have to become karma, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If somebody that doesn't believe in karma, you know, like, that, 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 that's just my logic with it. I don't no. believe in, like, the cosmic justice of karma. I just believe that, like, eventually if a bad person does bad things, they will eventually wrong the wrong person. Oh, yeah, like, they'll cross the line eventually. Yeah, like, I, I don't believe in, like, the cosmic energy or anything like that. But I, I do believe that, um, I just don't think, and, you know, maybe this is too optimistic, because obviously sometimes bad people do get away with things for the rest of their lives. Oh, yeah. But uh, I like to believe that uh, bad actors are always caught. Um, and you might say, like, no. <laughs> You know, some people are they've like revealed of crimes after their death or something like, you know, the Zodiac killer died like a couple of years before they figured it all out. Yeah, he died like peacefully and like what's yeah. a friend on Facebook that <laughs> yeah. tagging came in photos being like, tell me uh, with Bob the Zodiac killer. Lomau. <laughs> Which honestly, that's still really fucking that's funny. so man. funny. The, 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 some guy just knew about the Zodiac killer. And just like, no, everyone just thought he was a crazy old man shit posting. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but I what I mean uh, by that is like I think of the industry, right? Of uh, like, are you sitting on a controller? He moved. Oh, oh yeah, I was sitting on oh, a controller. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know why that was enabled. My bad. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, I, um, I, I didn't. As much as it feels like I lost a lot, uh, I didn't lose that much actually. No, no, not really. Because uh, what? Here, here's the thing. Like, a lot of people, like people in every industry, talk. So even if people don't face like actual consequences or stuff like that, I think people get warned about people all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think even if it feels like this person is bad, I think, cause like I'd think about content creators, like you'll hear about like this person is something shitty. That's not, maybe not a crime, you know? It's just, like, yeah. The, just shitty. Yeah. And, and that spreads and you know, like, you know, I, you know, you don't always want to believe everything you hear, of course, like you want to keep an open mind. But once you hear like enough stories about certain people, you're kind of like from different people, from different sources, you're kind of like, maybe they're not a great person. And uh, I, I don't have any like horse in that race. So I just kind of let them be and I'll live my own life in, in different tangent lines from them. Yeah, like... You you don't need to become their divine justice or something. You can just like yeah. cut them out. But yeah, I, I just feel like like karma in my mind can just work like that, you know? Yeah, like that makes sense. Yeah, people know that bad people are bad normally, and if you don't, that that sucks. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I I I don't really believe in karma in the actual sense because how the fuck would that work? Yeah, it, like that 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 does come down to like spiritual type beliefs, which like. Yeah. Everyone's entitled to their own, like... I think my biggest hurdle with Christianity growing up was trying to process divine intervention. Explain. Um... Are you talking about, like, predestination or what? Yes, predestination I still have a pretty big complication with, because, like, I just don't like the thought of being denied free will. Yes. Um, but my problem with divine intervention is just thinking, like, prayer, right? Uh, because, you know, specifically of Christian faith. Oh, nice. Sweet. Um, cause I feel like with prayer, like, you know, God can answer you or he cannot answer you and either whatever happens, quote unquote, is based on what God deems is correct. You know? Yeah. Like let's say there's two football teams with 50 players on them Yeah. and both teams spend all 50 players spend an hour praying before the game. How does God decide who wins? Yeah, I was thinking like a more extreme way of like, let's say, um, you know, like the first thing that really tests my faith is like, I mean, my grandfather had cancer. Yeah. Right? We prayed and he still died. So doesn't that kind of suck? 
<laughs> oh yeah, I see. I that, like mean. it's God's way that he passed away. Yeah. And and it's just obviously, you know, you know, God has a plan for all of us, and I get that. But I, I think for me, I I live a happier life not thinking prayer does anything. Like I would still say I, I'm I'm religious despite it all. Like I, I think I believe in like a heaven and hell, a God and all that stuff. Like even if I don't like practice it. But um I think I believe in all that, but I, I don't know, I just don't like the thought of of prayer, I guess. See, whenever I, whenever I was religious, prayer was actually like one of my favorite things. I was, yeah. I was a big prayer. But like oh no, oh no, god damn it. Yeah, I think like I think faith is such a great thing to have, though, because, like, when I... I think people no in God. religion are, like, across, like, happier, right? Because I think at some point it sounds relieving to think that uh, all the bad things in my life are just a way to get me to the good, you know? Yeah. I can see how that's really helpful, but I, I don't know. I just can't wrap my mind around it, so it's, like, hard for me to, like, feel that way. See, because I, for me, like, I'm at the point where, like, I was in religion for so much longer. Like, I, I, I think I was, like, like, I, or, like, I was in religion for so long that, like, yeah. like, I feel like I support it pretty heavily. Like, the point where, like, I look at it, I don't even, like, see, like, the happy points with it. Like, even though I do recognize there are a lot of happy points with it. Um, but I don't know, like, there is, like, a lot of peace with it. But it's yeah. kind of like the thing with like, if you like, if you like look back at it after becoming atheist, like a lot of the stuff just feels like, oh man, I just lied to you and told to do all these things for like, yeah, for sure. Just because it, I don't know, it feels very foolish. Like, I don't know. Like I felt like I was such a dumbass. Like <laughs> whenever I became like atheist, I was like, wow, can't believe I fell for this, this, this type of thing. Yeah. And so it was honestly like the reverse for me. Like, cause I was like. It made me think, like, man, if I'd been a good person, like, my life, or was I just, like, doing things so that way I could go to heaven and literally no other reason why? Yeah, no, I think about that a lot of just, like, uh, religious morality is, like, tainted, right? Yes. Because are people doing good deeds out of the kindness of their heart, or are they doing it for the promise of, of eternity, you know? Yeah. It's just, like... Because you could argue that doesn't make you a good person. It's, like, yeah, no, because, like, at that point... It should be good. Like, I think this is where we get to, you know, the philosophy of two Let's Players on the internet. But, like, yeah. <laughs> like, are you a good person because you do good deeds on your own? Or are you just a good person if you do good deeds regardless of the reasoning? Like, if your mom tells you to, like, do your good deeds and do, like, all your shit, like, you are still doing good deeds. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you move out, are you going to keep doing good deeds? Type of thing, I guess. Yeah, I think you could like one example that's always relevant is like Mr. Beast, right? Mm -hmm. Um, for what it's worth, I don't think Mr. Beast is a bad a bad person, but I don't think he's a good person either. Because like, I think he's doing good things, but but for the intent of them being broadcasted and marketing, like the impact he has is good. The impact he has on these real life people is good. But I don't think it makes him and like I'm not saying he's a bad person, but I'm saying it doesn't make him inherently good. Yeah, doing those things isn't a good per yeah. like doesn't make him a good person. He, However, he could be a good person. He probably is a good person, I would say. Um, but I you know, I just don't think those acts alone make you a good person, is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get what you mean. Like, you're not you are explicitly not saying he's a bad person, but you're not gonna be like, oh, he's doing like I, I get the reasoning why he's doing yeah. like he has to market everything because he wants to like he has to make money so he continue to keep doing good deeds. Yeah, yeah, of course. But at the end of the day, like that is like he still has to make money off of it, which money is the root of all evil. Uh, yeah. If, like, I think that's like just a fairly tame take, though. Just say like he's he's probably a good person, but he's not good because of these good things. Yeah, it's like what's he doing off camera? Like that's. Yeah. Like, what do you guys behind closed doors and like what we do behind closed doors is like what makes Bro, us a I person? hate when people call me a role model. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I think it's weird when anyone is a role model that you don't know. Like, you know, um, back in, uh, I think about this a lot, actually. This uh, is relevant in content creator life more than anything. In sixth grade, we had to write an essay 
on like your role model yeah and i was like oh my grandfather you know yeah yeah, yeah. and my teacher was like no 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 it has to be someone who's like done like great things like done like you know you know they were like oh, pitching like bullshit. martin luther king jr stuff like that right or you know um an air celebrity like someone did ashton kutcher you know oh um, the true role model yeah to be fair he's done some good shit yeah but like I, yeah, I, yeah but uh yeah it was just like uh eventually uh i wrote my i ended up writing that story about my grandfather anyways and it's really special. It's actually really fucking sad. Yeah. Because uh, as a kid, my family didn't tell me that his cancer was terminal. And he had cancer at the time. Oh, shit. That's yeah. Rough. Yeah. So, like, dude, I I didn't know it was terminal. And here I am, like, 11 years old, running up to my grandfather, asking him. I was like, hey, can I write an essay on you? I have to write about my hero. Oh, uh, dude, he he bursted out in tears. And at that point, as a kid, like I didn't fucking understand. I was like, what's wrong? You know, <laughs> did I say something? Yeah. Yeah, no. But I see it now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that... really fucking sad for him to to hear to hear that. Yeah. No, yeah. That... No, I still have that essay because uh, I remember like he was on chemo and everything. And like he just he's lost a lot of weight. He doesn't look like himself. His hair is thinning. Like, it's just. It's not the best picture of him. But at the time, I, I didn't think about those things. I just remember showing my dad, and my dad was like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear your dad saying that, actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure you didn't, like, say exactly that, literally, but, no. like, like... Yeah, no, that, oh, no, that shit's rough. Yeah, that shit's rough. Fuck. But, yeah, no, I mean... I think, just this in my take, you can aspire you to do good things you can be inspired by people you don't know doing good things but i think it's so whack to call people you don't know role models because i think the only people who can leave actual lasting impacts on your life are the people who have done good in front of you the people who have you have witnessed do good things for good genuine reasons you know yeah i know i get what you mean and anyone you don't know cannot have that same uh genuine aspect to them i don't know bro like yeah it, i don't know, I, I i think it's just i get what you mean by like being parasocial yeah because it's like at that point you are just being inspired by good like the good deeds of like a person did not by like who they are as a yeah. person and that's fine to do you know yeah like, if anyone wants to do let's say someone doesn't even get involved in youtube they get involved in charity work because of mr beast right something like that like that's a that's a good thing and i, I think you know i don't i'm not like super i'm not gatekeeping like good deeds in the sense because you know some people say like uh, the only good deed is the good deed you don't like tell people or brag about it or stuff like that yeah i fuck that noise <laughs> honestly if you, if you want to tell people about it you can i don't care i just think it's like why are you telling them that's that matters more right yeah i told you a random good deed i did recently because the story was funny yeah but i don't think that devalues the good deed you know what i mean yeah it doesn't devalue like the people that you helped with that story yeah. like I, I i i get exactly what you mean yeah bro I don't know why I've lost it on this one. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I I agree with everything you're saying. I'm just getting my ass kicked and thinking about the comments because no, those fair. people. No. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. You want to do a good? You want to do leave no, a good? No, do no, a good no, deed today. No, 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 I want to. I don't know. I want to know. I actually want to read these comments. Anyone who made it this far, I want to know who is your role model in your life and why. Like if you say one of us. D yeah, no, it has to be someone you know. Yeah, yeah. Like the rules, it cannot be a fictional character. It cannot be if even if your role model is one of these things, that's fine. You can live your life. I, I like if you want to say fuck you, you're my role model. Fuck you, Ashton Kutcher, my role model. Th so be it. You know that that's your life to live. But I want to hear who is the role model that you personally know in your life and why. And 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 I just want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shoot! All right, all right, next fall ends the video. All right, all right. This is the run. This is the run. I believe. No. Oh my God. No. You're you're cooking. You got. 